Right now, everybody's talking about goals, New Year's resolutions. Oh, 2021 is going to be the best year ever. Oh, I'm so glad 2020 is over because 2021 is going to be better. How do you know that? Just because you're hoping? Just because you're crossing your fingers? Just because, you know, you posted it on social media? No. You have to really know where you're going, how you're going to get there, when you're going to get there by, who you're going to get there with, and know how to measure and track yourself to make sure that you're growing because whatever you don't measure, you can't manage, and whatever you don't manage, you can't grow. You know, most people, they have so much excitement, so much motivation, so much passion, dedication, commitments, it seems like, to these new goals, these new New Year's resolutions, these new habits and behaviors that they want to create. But then within the next couple of weeks, they give up. Why? You see, most of the time they're basing their New Year's resolutions or new goals off of a reaction to, a reaction to something negative. Oh, I feel too fat, therefore I want to lose weight. Oh, I don't have enough money and I'm struggling over here, therefore I want to make more. It's based off of a reaction of something negative and that's why people quit because it's not strong enough to get them through those times when it gets inconvenient and uncomfortable. You see, when you're going towards these big goals on your way, you're going to stretch yourself. You're going to go into uncharted territory, things that you haven't done, things that you need to learn. So it's going to be uncomfortable. It's going to be inconvenient sometimes. And if you don't have something stronger than just, oh, I hope to, you know, tomorrow's better or next week's better, next month, next year's better. If you don't have something stronger than that, you're going to quit. So if you want to stay motivated, you got to have a clear motive. Your motive is directly connected to your motivation. So if you lose motivation, it's because you lost focus on your real motive. And if your motive is based on something negative, it's not going to be strong enough to push and pull you through. But if you can see the possibility, if you can see the potential, if you can see the solution, if you can see the goodness, the benefits, the rewards that are past this, this struggle, all of a sudden you have a reason, right? That vision of where you're going gives this pain a purpose and now you're pushing and pulling through anything that comes through and you don't quit and you create the life that you want. But you first need clarity. Most people quit in their goals because they're not clear enough. They're not clear enough on where they're going, how they're gonna get there, when they're gonna get there by, who they're gonna get there with and how to track it. This is why I created this system right here behind me. This is the goal system. And I use this with a lot of my high achieving, high performing you know, clients. And this helps them to get these big goals, these big projects that they have. It simplifies it, puts it into a process, into a system. So that way you will accomplish it. Like there's no way that you won't. This system will kill procrastination. If you deal with procrastination, if you struggle with that, doing this system right here will take care of that. If you're somebody who is like, oh, I don't know how to manage my time. I can't get those main things done. This system right here will take care of your time management problem. If you are someone who maybe loses motivation often, like, oh man, I don't feel motivated to do it. This system will, will keep your motives so clear for you that you will not lose your motivation and therefore you will not lose your momentum because you'll continue taking action. This system right here is very powerful. This is actually a small part of a life mastery system that I created. It's a planner agenda that is very powerful to help you to accomplish everything that you have. And this is just one tool that's in that system, the goal system. So right now I want you to actually apply this, okay? I'm gonna show you how this works. But at first I want you to know that when you have a goal, it takes dedication, it takes commitment. You know, having a goal is like having a freaking child. When you have a child, you don't just have a child and say, okay, I'm a dad. No, you have to raise it, right? You don't just raise, you don't just have a child. You got to raise a child. You got to pour into it. You got to sacrifice for it. Give it your time, yourself, your, your wealth. You got to train it up so that it can be independent and walk on its own. Okay. It takes commitment and you got to be very clear on it. This is why this system really helps and it really works. It produces results. I've used this all around the world with different people at different levels and in different industries. It works for everyone. So right now, I know you have a lot of goals, okay? But let's just focus on one right now. And you can use this for any other one. You can apply it to any other one you want, but let's just focus on one right now just for the exercise sake, okay? So focus on one goal. I want you to get a piece of paper. On the top of the paper, write down main goal. Main goal. And then I want you to write down what is your main goal right here. Simple, simply put. So it could be spiritually, financially, relationally, you know, in your health. It can be in any aspect of your life, but just get clear on one goal and write it right there on top of the paper. So now that we have that main goal, okay, 
what are the four main things that you know you should be doing right now? Okay, what are the four things that you should be doing right now to make sure that you accomplish that one goal? Write them down. So here's one, you're gonna write it down right here. What is, this is one thing that I know I should be doing right now to accomplish this one goal. And then here's two, three, and four. You want four, and make these things simple, okay? There's a quote that says, complexity is the enemy, enemy of execution. Complexity is the enemy of execution. Now, if you think about that, it's because when things are so complicated, you're just like, oh, I don't understand, can I do this? There's so many questions and doubts because it's not clear. Therefore, you don't take action because you're not so confident about doing it. But when you're clear, when it's simple, all of a sudden you feel confident and you start to take action. So we need to make it simple. That's what this whole system does. So you have your main goal, okay? So now the four main things you need to be doing to accomplish that one main goal. So for an example, if I, if I wanna be healthier, to be healthier, maybe one of the things is, oh, I need to drink more water. Maybe I need to exercise more. Maybe I need to eat more vegetables. Maybe I need to meal prep. Maybe those would be the four main things that I need to do to be healthier this year, right? So, or let's say another thing is, um, I want to better my, my relationship with anybody. Okay, what are the four things you need to do to better your relationship? It could be, oh, I need to, you know, spend quality time with them more. I need to be more affectionate. I need to give them compliments. I need to, you know, make sure I maybe give them a gift here and there. You know, maybe I have specific things here that I can do intentionally and consistently to meet my one goal of bettering that relationship. Or maybe it's to grow your business, right? What are the four main things that you need to be doing now that you know you should be doing now that will help you to grow your business. And you write them down right here. Maybe it's making phone calls. Maybe it's follow-up calls. Maybe it's more marketing. Maybe it's investing or hiring somebody to scale your business. What are the four main things that you need to do to meet that one main goal, okay? So now we're gonna start to get more detailed. Okay, so you have your main goal, you have the four main things. Now we're gonna work our way down here. The first thing that you need to do, okay, how are you gonna do this? Write it down right here. Simply put, how are you gonna do this first main thing? You're working your way down. When you're gonna do it by? Now, when you're gonna do it by, or maybe it's not just when, like a deadline, maybe it's a schedule, because maybe it's something that you need to do, you know, a few times a week, or maybe every day. So you need to have it on your calendar as a schedule. So that's a part of your win. Okay, so when can be your deadline, when you, when you need to get it done by or when can be what days you're gonna be doing this thing that you need to do to accomplish that one main goal. And then who? Who is gonna be a part of this thing that you need to do? This one thing. Is there anybody involved? Maybe a coach, maybe another partner, maybe a coworker, maybe somebody external, somebody in the family. Does anybody need to, maybe not, be a part of this first thing that you need to do? Last thing is track. How are you gonna track it? So if, I, if this was for exercise, I'm gonna track you know, how many reps I did, how long I took, how much weight I put, to track and be, be consistent to know that I'm producing the results that I want, okay? So whatever it is, find a way to track it. Then you go to the second thing. You go to the same thing. How, when, who, how are you gonna monitor it? How are you gonna track it? The third thing, the same thing. You work your way each one of these. Now when you get done with that, now you're so clear on what you need to do to make sure you need to accomplish this one main goal. This is the goal system. Your main goal, the four main things that you need to do to accomplish that one main goal. And then now through each one of those things, you start to write down, okay, how am I gonna accomplish this one thing? When am I gonna accomplish it by? And what days do I need to do it on? Who is gonna be a part of this? And how am I going to track it and measure it so I can manage it and make sure that it grows? This is the goal tool system and it will change your life.